Multan International Airport Urdu, Multan bin Alakwami Wei Aiata, Mux, ICAO, OPMT is an international airport located 4 km west of Multan, Pakistan. The airport is southern Punjab's largest and busiest airport. Multan International Airport offers flights throughout Pakistan, as well as direct flights to Bahrain, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. In March 2015, a new terminal building was formally inaugurated by ex-Prime Minister of Pakistan Nawaz Sharif. Following the opening of the new terminal, passenger traffic soared from 384,571 in 2014-2015, to 904,865 in 2015-2016. History Early beginning Multan International Airport traces its origins to the British Empire, when the Royal Air Force used the open space to fly in and out of the region during 1919. The area was used for aircraft that were able to land on gravel and grass surfaces. In 1934, Imperial Airways started to use the airfield for civil aircraft flights since Multan was considered a strategic position in the Punjab province of India. It was not until 1938 that Imperial Airways started to operate regular flights out of Multan. The flight would originate in Lahore, then fly into Multan, where it would continue its journey to Jacobabad and then Karachi. Following the independence of Pakistan from the British, Pak Air, a new airline to the Dominion, started operations from Multan Airport. Multan Flying Club was also set up at the airport within the same year. It was not until the birth of the national flag carrier, Pakistan International Airlines in 1957, that PIA started operations from airport using Douglas DC-3 aircraft. In 1963, due to growth of the number of flights and larger aircraft requirements, the runway, taxiways and aprons were carpeted using bitumen. A new control tower was constructed to meet the technological changes at that time. In 1971, as PIA had acquired Boeing aircraft, the runway was extended to 2,743 by 30 meters 9,000 by 100 feet to handle heavier aircraft and more passengers. The terminal building was extended in 1977, which also allowed the airport to handle Boeing 720 aircraft. In 1980-1988, the airport runway was strengthened and re-carpeted for the arrival of the Airbus A300. It was not until 1999 that PIA and the private airline Aero Asia operated international flights from the airport. Flights began to destinations in the Middle East such as Dubai and Kuwait. Topic Recent development As the demand for air travel began to surge, the Pakistan Civil Aviation Authority decided to upgrade the facilities for the airport in 2005. Initially the runway was upgraded to handle Boeing 747 operations at a cost of 720 million rupees and was completed within the same year. On 15 December 2006, Shaheen Air started four weekly flights from Karachi to Multan. The airport also reported an operating profit of 1 billion rupees within that year. It was in December 2007 that Director General CAA, Farooq Rematullah, held a press conference that the terminal building would be expanded as well as airside facilities at a cost of 4.5 billion rupees. It was in April 2009 that the work started with the runway, taxiways, and apron so the airport could handle large aircraft. The ground breaking ceremony was held by the then PM Syed Yusuf Raza Galani. Pakistan-based Engineering Consultants International Limited (ECIL) was awarded the contract to extend the runway and terminal building. In January 2010, the Pakistan CAA decided that a brand new terminal with four jet bridges would be constructed instead of expanding the current terminal. In June 2010, PM Yusuf Raza Galani carried out the ground-breaking ceremony for the terminal building and inaugurated the first PIA Boeing 747 Hajj flight on the 28th of October 2010. During 2011, PIA introduced weekly flights for Jeddah and Medina. Fly Dubai announced thrice a week flights between Multan and Dubai with Boeing 737 800 from 14 March 2013 and became first foreign airline to operate from the airport post independence. 
Shaheen Air International restarted its daily operation from Karachi with Boeing 737 in February 2012 and Boja Air launched two weekly flights from Karachi with Boeing 737-200 in March 2012. Air Indus announced daily service for Multan, Karachi from 20 August 2013. Shaheen Air International started twice a week flight service for Multan, Dubai sector from 31 March 2013. Shaheen Air International announced two weekly flights between Multan and Medina from 1 June 2013. Pakistan International Airlines started two weekly direct flights for Jeddah and Medina from January 2014. Pakistan International Airlines announced weekly service for Multan, Sharjah sector from 30 March 2014. Shaheen Air International announced twice a week service for Jeddah Multan sector from December 2014. In March 2015, new terminal of Multan International Airport was formally inaugurated by PM Nawaz Sharif with former PM Yusuf Raza Galani as well as several high-ranking officials. All operations have now shifted from the old terminal to the new one with flights increasing with more destinations and routes being opened up for the city of Multan. Keeping the international standards in view, a new air traffic control tower is constructed as well which is equipped with modern gadgets and navigation systems. A cargo complex of international standard has also been established with a capacity of 10,000 metric tons per year to host international cargo flights from Multan which will boost exports of fruits particularly mangoes and vegetables. There are plans that this would further increase to 30,000 metric tons every year. After the transfer of all operations to new terminal, AirBlue announced to start twice a week flight service for Islamabad from 3 April 2015. AirBlue also announced to start twice a week service for Jeddah from the 4th of April 2015 and twice weekly service for Sharjah from the 10th of April 2015. Qatar Airways announced to start three times a week service by A320 with two class seating for Doha Multan sector from the 1st of August 2015 to get the facility for connections to USA and Europe. Air Arabia announced four weekly flights for Sharjah Multan sector from the 1st of May 2015. Fly Dubai announced to increase its three times weekly service to daily flights for Multan from 26 May 2015 as they got a good load for the sector. Air Arabia also got a successful response so they announced to increase its service to daily flights for Multan from 31 May 2015. Emirates announced to start four times a week flight operation by Boeing 777-300 with two class seating to provide service for Dubai, Multan sector from 1 August 2015 which will facilitate the travelers to get connections for MENA region, Far East, USA and Europe. This service will also provide the international cargo facility as every flight can carry up to 23 tons of cargo. Fly Dubai announced to increase its frequency to nine flights a week from the 10th of July 2015. Two additional flights will provide the service on Wednesdays and Fridays to facilitate the travelers to from Moulton. After getting a successful business on Jeddah and Sharjah routes, AirBlue announced to start twice a week flight service for Medina as well from the 18th of August 2015. Pakistan International Airlines opened more new routes from Multan, announcing the introduction of one weekly flight to Abu Dhabi by A320 from 26 October 2015 and one weekly flight for Muscat from 14 November 2015, also using the A320. Gulf Air expanded their operation in Pakistan, opening more routes so they announced four weekly flights by A320 for Bahrain, Multan sector from 14 December 2015 which will also provide connections to the USA. Shaheen Air International added Riyadh in its schedule as a new destination from Multan with twice a week service by using A320 from 6 April 2016. AirBlue is increasing its operation for Multan and they announced to start four weekly flights in between Karachi and Multan from 19 April 2016 by using A320. Pakistan International Airlines also started a new route in between Multan and Riyadh by providing one weekly flight from 21 April 2016. Taban Air of Iran started their seasonal service in between Mashhad and Multan from 17 May 2016. Air Indus operation has ceased and no longer service from Multan to Karachi anymore June 2016. AirBlue adding Dubai to Multan sector with two weekly flights from 23 November 2016. Pakistan International Airlines also resuming their two weekly flights in between Multan and Quetta from 1 December 2016. 
Sadia started his operation for Multan from 1 April 2017 by adding four weekly flights in between Jeddah and Multan to get his share from market. Shaheen Air International adding one more destination for Multan by starting one weekly flight in between Multan and Muscat from 24 April 2017. Oman Salam Air is adding Pakistan in their network so they announced to start three weekly flights in between Muscat and Multan from 23 May 2017. Shaheen Air operation has been suspended till further notice by CAA. Emirates Airline has ended operations to Multan on 26 October 2018 but it will carry on codeshare connection with Fly Dubai to rest of the world. Topic structure Multan International Airport is fitted with all the essentials for domestic and international flights with the inauguration of the new terminal. The information below is correct as of April 2016. Lounge zone business class lounge for premium passengers. One domestic economy class lounge. One International Economy Class Lounge. One CIP Lounge for VVIP and Foreign Diplomats. Subway, Pizza Hut, Dunkin' Donuts, Refreshment and Gift Shops Available Within Lounge. Duty Free Shops Available at International Arrivals and International Departure Lounge. Free Internet Wi-Fi Facilities Powered by Watin Telecom. Mobile charging stations within Departure Lounge provided by Voice Mobile, United Mobile Pakistan Prayer Rooms available in the Departure Lounge separately for ladies and gents, apron for boarding jet bridges Bay 1, 2, 3 and 4. Two wide body and four narrow body aircraft nose in parking available. Equipped with complete airfield lighting system dimensions, 230 meters times 145 meters 755 feet times 475 feet with 11 meters 35 feet shoulders runways, DME VOR, NDB equipped 1836 runway dimensions, 3,204 meters times 46 meters 10,512 feet times 151 feet with 7.6 meters 25 feet shoulders on each side. Side. Capable of handling up to Boeing 747, Boeing 777 and A340 aircraft. Instrument landing system and CAT IAFL system. High intensity lighting system. Parallel taxiway running alongside runway 1836 for speedy exit and departure. Emergency alternative for Islamabad and Lahore, airport service Pakistan State Oil provide fuel services to all airlines flying out of the airport, Jet A100 fire fighting and rescue services. ICAO Category 9. FIDS systems located in the lounges and briefing concourses showing television programs and flight information. Airport mosque located outside the terminal on the right-hand side. Airport medical center located adjacent to CAA mosque. Rent a car facility and Metro Radio Cab Services. Custom and Immigration for International Flights Airline Ticketing Offices PIA, Shaheen Air, Airblue, Air Indus, Fly Dubai, Air Arabia, Emirates, Qatar Airways and Gulf Air, Ground Handling Agents Pakistan International Airlines. Shaheen Airport Services SAPS. Airblue Limited. Royal Airport Services Ross. Jerry's D Nata Cargo Complex Cargo Freight Services provided by Pakistan International Airlines. Booking can be made at PIA Booking Office located at Abdali Road or Airport Cargo Office. International Cargo Freight Service provided by Emirates as their every flight can carry up to 23 tons of cargo, which helps local exporters to send their cargo to any of 78 countries in the world where Emirates Airline operates. Flying schools, institutions, Multan Flying Club, additional Pakistan Meteorological Department, Ramada Hotels counter, Foreign Currency Exchange counter. Topic: Airlines and destinations. Topic: Access. Topic. Car Multan International Airport is situated in the well-populated area of cantonment and it is easily accessible through airport road by using Jamil Abad Road from any part of the city. There is a drop-off lane at the front of the terminal as well as a wide car parking area which can accommodate more than 400 vehicles. Topic. Taxi. 
Metro Radio Cab Services provides service directly from the airport and their counter is situated at the land side of the terminal to book the cab. Private rent a car facility is also available at the airport. Topic rickshaw There are also a number of traditional rickshaws available at the airport parking area and entrance which are quite popular to travel short distance within the city. Topic. Train Moulton Cantonment Railway Station is the nearest railway station only less than 3 km away from the airport to get the railway connections for the other parts of country. Statistics The following table provides details of the major traffic flows out of Moulton in terms of passenger numbers, aircraft movements, cargo as well as mail. The results were collected by the Civil Aviation Authority of Pakistan. Incidents and accidents On 10 July 2006 a Fokker F-27 Friendship took off from Moulton International Airport. Flight PK-688 suffered engine problems soon after takeoff, causing the pilot to lose control. The aircraft crashed in a nearby grassy field, causing it to catch fire on impact leaving all 54 passengers and crew dead. See also List of airports in Pakistan Airlines of Pakistan Transport in Pakistan Pakistan Civil Aviation Authority